Hello YouTube and welcome to part one of my two-part three style corners example video. So in this video I'm just going to be aiming to show you some examples of some corner three cycles and I'll try to do so without just uh, spoon feeding too many algorithms to you because three style is a method which is best learned intuitively. So First of all, in this video, I'm just going to be covering the basics of interchanges, insertions, um, pure commutators, um, all with some examples, and at the end I'll cover something called interchange groups. So to start off, you need not have too much, um, you need not be advanced with 3Style to be watching this video, but I'd expect you to have some basic understanding of the method. So if you don't, then I'll just link you to Noah's tutorial, which is a really nice one on pure commutators, and hopefully you'll understand that. So I'll just start by setting an example up, and here we go. Okay, so UBL is my buffer, and we have UBL in this cycle. We have UBL to FDR to L LFD. So in this... First of all, the first step of uh, finding your 3 cycle is to look for an interchange. Now I'm going to assume what, that you guys know what an interchange is. So another terminology which I picked up from one of Dan Shepard's videos which really helped me understand how, to, uh, how 3 cycles worked was that you have to look for the action spot as he called it. So basically that's nothing but once you've found your interchange, which is in this case an obvious D move, D prime move on the D layer, once you've found that out, you find which one goes to the other one. So in this case the orange, green, yellow belongs here, but the white, blue, orange does not belong here. So we can label this as the action spot. So we have to find a way to get this buffer sticker into there. And then we move this sticker into the action spot as our interchange move. So now that's half the battle won. So now all you have to do is look for a good insertion. And in this case, inserting this into there can be done simply by bringing this sticker which is on the F face. If you bring it to the U face, you create a nice U2 swap and R prime to complete the insertion. And then you bring this to the action spot with a simple D move and you undo the insertion and you can undo the interchange. So that was a nice pure 8 move commutator which I just showed you and now I'm just going to show you um, some alternate ways you can execute the same cycle. Okay so again the same cycle has been set up and when me and a friend first started out with 3 cycles this is what we used to do for this cycle why am I showing you this? It's just to show you that there's no um, right or wrong in 3Style and that you can solve each case the way you want to. There's no specific way that you have to do it. It's just like having multiple OLLs for the same case except that this is not like an OLL where you just go out there and memorize it. This is something that you con construct and understand. So when we first solve this case what we would do was do a U2 to set the buffer into this slot and then to insert this into here we do an F prime U prime F and then use the D interchange and undo that insertion and interchange and undo the setup move and for a long time I was actually using this thinking that this was optimal but as I got a little bit more experienced, I saw this R2, oh sorry, R U2 R prime insertion. So that's another thing. So just be a bit more broad-minded to think of more insertions and interchanges. Even though there are so many solutions, you may be lacking one which is finger trick friendly or move efficient. But that'll all come with due experience. And if you're a beginner, it's better just to be able to use a 3 cycle rather than not be able to so I'll just set another case up okay so in essence actually I just set up the same case except it's inverse I set up here to there to there so why I decided to show you this was in I mean it, obviously you could just invert the previous 3 cycle you could just do a D interchange first 
and then you anor you to our prime insertion. However, if you approach the problem this way, like if you find that on the interchange layer, this needs to go there. So this is our action spot. Instead of doing the interchange first, you could just insert the buffer directly into here with an rotation and R U prime R prime. And now you can bring this over to the action spot with a D prime and R U R prime is inverting the insertion and a D to invert the interchange. So again, that was yet another solution you can use and another way to show that there's no specific answer to a three cycle. Now I'm just going to set some cases up and show you what are interchange groups. Okay, so in this case I have my buffer to RFD to uh, FDL. So if you know the algorithms for the sticker, you can just mirror them to get them for RFD. So if you know that if you knew the RU to R prime insertion for this, you could just mirror that and just get the F prime U to F insertion for here. And by the way, again, find out which one's your action spot. You find that this is your D is your interchange layer. So you find that this goes there and not the other way around. So after you do your insertion move, you can move this here as a D interchange and just undo it to solve that cycle. Okay, so coming to interchange groups, basically what it means is that with on the D layer, this red, green, yellow sticker can not only assume the position of where this sticker was with a D prime move, but if you went further and did a D2 move, you notice that it's now where the orange, blue, yellow was and that orange, blue, yellow is here. And if you did a D move, you notice that it assumes the position of where the blue, red, yellow was. So all that's showing you is that with similar interchanges that is on the D layer, you can actually construct the same commutator with the same insertion, only one D move deferring in the interchange part. So that is essentially an interchange group and you should really look out for interchange groups because it'll vastly cut down the amount of comms that you think you need to learn because RFD also has an interchange group on the R face so you can have three comms like from here to there or here to there or here to here alternate and sim uh, just like that you can have here to here here to there here to there so there's an um, interchange group on the R face one for all the targets on the D face similarly the buffer has one for all these four U targets so this will greatly help you in constructing commutators and you can construct them with the same interchange uh, sorry insertion however in some cases it may be better to look for new insertions and I'll just illustrate this with a with an example okay so here I've set up an example I have my buffer to the RFD position which is going to the LDB position so again you could just do the same F prime U to F insertion However, if you approach this problem a little differently, by the way, again, this going to there makes this your action spot. So if you just did an interchange first, like if you did a D2 and move that there, you would change your insertion to a simple L, U, L prime to put the buffer in there from here. And now you can undo that with a D2 and an L U prime L prime so that actually saved you some F moves or a rotation to make it R prime U to R so that just goes to show that even though the interchange groups can be used with the same insertion sometimes it might be wise to look for um, different insertions simply because they're more easy to execute and I'll just show you the example for this interchange group as well Okay, so in this case, I have my buffer to RFD to BDR. So, again, you could always rotate, do the R prime U to R, or without rotation, it's an F prime U to F. However, again, if you did 
by the way again your action spots here because this is going to there instead if you just did an interchange first with a D move to move that into its correct location you can insert the buffer into there with I'm just showing it from this angle so it's easy to understand you can just do an R prime in this case it's an F prime from this angle and an U and an R move to put that in and then you can undo your interchange and your insertion so in this example again it just illustrates that sometimes it's better to look for new insertions on the interchange group rather than just setting up to ones you already know and now I'm just going to show you another case okay so moving away from that for a little bit I've just set this case up and the reason for me doing so most of you would have noticed by now that the yellow F2L is solved and that this is nothing but an OLL which you pr probably know as the chameleon pattern or I don't know what you call it so actually how this OLL is deconstructed is you see the buffer going to there and that goes to there so you can see that with a simple um, L interchange move you can move the buffer into there and then when you want to insert this this white sticker there you can simply do that oh sorry you want to insert this white sticker in into there you can simply do that with an F R prime F prime and you can undo that interchange move that you initially did and that's the OLL which you actually execute like this so that was just another example which just explained the logic behind that OLL so this should conclude my video on part one and pure commutators and interchange groups so if you're just starting out with restyle that's the way to go once you got a good grip on pure commutators you should just look for your interchange groups so that you can use the same interchange and quickly build your commutators for that and I hope that these examples helped and if you have some questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you'd like to see more such videos like and subscribe of course and in part 2 I will be covering A9's 10 movers and some different insertions you won't always have cases with 3 move insertions and that's it for now so thanks for watching